Hi guys, this video is to show you uh, about how to remove or to uh, eliminate a sprinkler head in your yard uh, from your irrigation system. Uh, recently I had the situation, uh, you see this gravel field which I have beside my lawn and it was redone a couple of years ago so um, yeah it was more or less everything okay and it was covered by trampoline so i didn't notice that some, something is wrong but you see this yellowish stone so you see that something has been uh, going on for a couple of uh, time which was not okay so yeah um, at the end a couple of days ago i noticed that there was a big lake and a small fountain in between yeah, just a couple of inches not much uh, hard to see not something like this what you see usually when a sprinkler head pops off uh, when it uh, uh, bursts so you have so usually something like this when it's on top but it was covered underneath a lot of dirt and a lot of gravel so it was not so obvious uh, yeah, so I shut off the uh, sprinkler system and started digging down. So yeah, and this is what I found about almost one feet down. Uh, that's the remainder of the sprinkler head. It obviously broke off. You see it more in detail. So it was instead of one piece it was two pieces this piece on the side was uh, just lying here and uh, yeah a lot of water was flowing out of the sprinkler head you see here we have the cracks it's uh, yeah hard to see but uh, yeah it it, it uh, really broke off uh, here you already see the replacement part I'm going to show you more details about the old thing. You, here you have the top, which was visible like here. That's the top. So, yeah, you have to remove and replace that with the thing. But this is all at the, you have to replace it at the bottom. So you have to keep digging. Uh, yeah, even when you're already down to one feet, like me, if you have an older sprinkler system which was uh, replaced or removed or whatever, uh, yeah, you have to dig down. Usually it's uh, pretty much on top when you have uh, a working a sprinkler head and you want to remove or e eliminate you don't have to dig dig so deep but i had to dig really deep so you he here you see the bottom part of the sprinkler head you see here you see the uh, thread thread of the old sprinkler head and the thread of the replacement cap this is not the same size this is just to show the yeah uh, it actually was too late because i already had the cap on so i sh i'm showing you a similar cap with a wider diameter so here you see again the old sprinkler head and the part part uh, which um, yeah came off just uh, after some time yeah the the problem was uh for a couple of time maybe two years or so it was still on the old head and just a little bit of water came out of the regular head but after some time the um yeah the sprinkler head um uh, broke off and then after that uh, only a lot of water came out so that caused the problem and only then i found out so here you see uh yeah um you see the hole which i had to dig it's uh, one uh, about one and a half feet uh deep and you already see the cap on it so i probably can show it to you more closely here you see yeah it's uh, just a regular cap this same uh, size uh f the same size for the thread and it was really easy i didn't need any kind of equipment i just um took it out, took it out uh, counterclockwise and 
uh, yeah, attached this cap uh, ca uh, clockwise. So that was really easy. I tested after that and uh, it was no water coming out of this. So everything is fine now. And overall that saved me about $75, which is a regular service call for a sprinkler company. So last time, time I called a sprinkler company and they they charged me seventy five dollars so this time I did it myself in uh, yeah maybe half an hour or so uh, yeah I can only recommend that doing yourself it's not such a big thing especially if you have um, an old sprinkler head which is still at the surface and not like in my case which is very deep down so I hope I was able to help you a little bit with that. Uh, if you like the video, give me a thumbs up, subscribe and thanks for watching anyway.